Phone 911. Baltimore County 911. What's the address of your emergency? We're, we're Perry Hall High School. We have a student shot. Okay. It looks like we do have a call in the system. Give me one moment. Okay. Well, we need we need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Okay. In the cafeteria more. immediately. Okay. And the student is in the cafeteria. Yes. Yeah. In his Facebook, he put the first day of school, last day of my I life. I pulled him up on Facebook. I looked at it because my girl told me what it said. That what it said? Yeah. First day of school, last day of my life. We were, like, in the far side of the cafeteria, and then we heard the shot, and then I kind of, like, stood up and then looked over. I'm in ninth grade, yeah. and it was my first day, and um, I heard, like, a popping, and I turned, I thought it was a bag of chips. I, like, turned around, and... The kid was like being held against like the vending machines by a teacher, and I saw the gun. And everybody, I like turned back around, and everybody was like by the doors running. James! And I thought it was just like like one of those bottle pops. And then I looked over and I saw a teacher, like wrestling. Yeah, it was like wrestling and pointing the gun away. Apparently, it was a shotgun. And then someone got shot. In the I back. think it was a special ed kid. And. That's and then right. when the when the teacher was wrestling him, the gun went off again. Yeah. But that, so that there one, were like two shots. First shot sounded like it was like a bag of chips being popped, and then you know there was a pause after that, and everybody kind of looked around, and then we saw a guy standing with a shotgun, and then the second shot went off, and everybody just said, "Let's get out of here." And we picked up our stuff and ran, and um, we just. It was chaos running out of the school. Like, it, no, you was pushing and shoving and just everybody trying to get out at once is terrible. I was just sitting in the English, well not English class, SAT prep, and the first thing you hear is that a couple people outside the classroom running and saying that they shooting. I mean, it was a surprise. Didn't really expect the shooting to be on the first day of school. We were all, we all came outside and me and my friend, um, started walking out to find her mom and I, I saw um, my neighbor Miss Chris Archer and you know I just saw her we we <laughs> hugged and we just started crying and um and yeah on the first day of school when most students came prepared with new clothes and school supplies in their backpacks 15 year old Robert Gladden Jr. came prepared with a bottle of peanut butter and jelly flavored vodka and a disassembled shotgun along with 21 shells in his backpack. One day earlier, Gladden spent the day at his father's house like he did often during summer recess, sleeping late and playing video games. Before being dropped off at his mother's house, Gladden took apart his father's shotgun so he could bring it home with him. That evening, Gladden sent texts to his friends, I'm going to bring a shotgun and 21 shells. I'll let your imagination do the rest and I trust you not to tell anyone about this, so please don't. And I'm either going straight to Mrs. Blake's room or wait until lunch and just shoot everyone. But his friends did not take these texts seriously at the time and did not tell anyone. On Facebook, Bobby Gladden also went by the name Suicidal Smile and had murder-suicide at the Manson family listed as his place of employment. Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold the Columbine killers listed under inspirational people. A few hours before attending school, Gladden posted, First day of school, last day of my life. Fuck the world. On the morning of August 27, 2012, Gladden attended his first two classes at Perry Hall High School and then went to the school restroom during break time where he reassembled the shotgun he had gotten from his father's house and loaded it. With the shotgun hidden under his shirt, Gladden entered the school cafeteria, pulled out the shotgun, and fired it, striking Daniel Burrowy, a 17-year-old student with Down syndrome, in the back, critically wounding him. A school guidance counselor, Jesse Wasmer, immediately rushed to Gladden, along with other brave faculty members, and subdued him when he fired one more shot into the cafeteria ceiling. Gladden was arrested and questioned by police shortly after the attempted mass murder of his fellow classmates. Let's pull up. Hey, Robert? Yeah. What do you like to be called? Bob, Robert, Bob. 
Need a minute to wake up or anything? Sure. Right. My name is Eric. This is Chris. All right. I'm an investigator for Baltimore County. Okay. Obviously, we want to get a couple of things about you. See what's going on today. First and foremost, I have to read you a couple of things. Now, you may have heard these before. How old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. You read and write and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's Robert. What's your middle name, Buck? Wayne. What's your last name? Gladden. G L A T D E N. Six fifteen. Yeah. What's your birthday? August fifth, nineteen ninety-seven. You're currently sophomore. Is that what it is? Tenth yeah. grade. You said you're eight million. All right. What this is, this is going to advise you of your rights. What this, I just want you to listen. If there's anything on here that you don't get, a word, a phrase, anything, just stop me. Right. And we'll go over it together and make sure that you have an understanding of it, okay? These first five things I'm going to read you are pretty much, you just need to understand what the words mean, okay? We'll go over it together. You have the absolute right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk with a lawyer at any time before or during any questioning. If you want a lawyer and cannot afford one, you can request the court to appoint a lawyer prior to any questioning. Number five says, if you agree to answer questions, you may stop at any time and no further questions will be asked of you. You understand what the words, just mm -hmm. the phrases one through five? If we decide to have a conversation about anything and I get to something that you don't want to talk about, you can simply say, I don't want to talk about that. We'll move on to something else. All right, does that sound reasonable? Yes. All right, what this paragraph here says is very important. I have read and understand this explanation of my rights. My decision to waive these rights and be interviewed is free and voluntary on my part. Key words, free and voluntary. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make you do anything. I'm not going to promise you anything. Right. So you understand what free and voluntary means? Okay, with this in mind, can we have a conversation about what's going on today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you sign right there? Your good old legal signature. August 27th, what do you got? 3.30. So what's going on today, man? Mm -hmm. I was just going to kill myself, but like a um, month or two ago, or actually, the first time I thought about killing myself was in fourth grade, but I was so young, I figured I'd wait. But uh, today, about two months ago, I was just going to kill myself, then I realized I wouldn't get the point across, like, the, how my son alone is. So then, I was like, might as well just kill a couple kids and then off myself. So I went there. And I had broken down the gun, and I had it in a bag. Mm -hmm. And I was, I took it into the bathroom and put it up. And then I walked into the cafeteria, and I didn't really have any one person that I was trying to kill. I just turned to the side and shot. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, like before I could even get the second shot off, a teacher came over and like pushed me up against the vending machine. So then I was stuck there and just gave up. Okay. When did you uh, when did you come about this decision? Uh, I had thought about doing it as far as last year, but mm -hmm. never really thought about it much until about a month ago. Is that when you chose to do it on the first day of school? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the gun from? I found it at my dad's house. Mm -hmm. You just found it? And the bolts? Yeah. They were, with the, were they with the gun? Yeah. Were there any other guns there? No. Did you take any other guns with you today? Mm -hmm. Pistols or anything no. like that? Any other... No. Um, anything going to blow up, hurt your body later today, tomorrow, nothing like that? No. Just the backpack was it? Mm -hmm. What else did you have in the backpack with you? 
Down to the bottom, back up, and that was it. Okay. Had you drank any of that today? Just a little bit. There, wasn't, there wasn't much in that. No. Did that, did that make you drunk? No. No? Did you talk to anybody this morning before you did it? Did you tell anybody what your plans were? I told a couple of people that I loved them, but I didn't tell anyone what I was doing. Okay, so you didn't lay your plan out to anybody specifically? Yeah. Do you have any specific friends in school? Uh, there's really two kids that I really talked to. That's Evan Post White and Tyler Medley. Okay. Did you tell them what you were planning? Mm -hmm. I told them they had the same lunch as me. Yeah. And I told them to leave before mm -hmm. I did it, but I didn't tell them what I was doing. You just told them to leave? Yeah. Did they ask why? Yeah, I said I'm about to do something, and I was like, leave unless you want to get hurt. And then I don't know if they left because after I said that, I went to the bathroom. Okay. Anything else happen in school today? Anything in the cafeteria? I mean, you came to school with this purpose today, right? Yeah. And, and you brought the gun. How'd you get to school? Bus. Okay. Just the regular old school bus? Yeah. You just broke the gun down, put it in the bag? Okay. No other problems this morning? Mm -hmm. Did you make it to your first class? Yeah. Yeah. What class was that? It was, I think, Career Research and Development. That sounds exciting. So you just waited till lunch? Mm -hmm. And you didn't pick anybody specifically? No. You just. I, just, I, I mean, did you just stand up at your lunch table? Tell me how this went. Uh, I, I, I had it in the bag, so I went into the bathroom mm -hmm. and I assembled it in there. And the pants I had had really deep pockets, so I put the stock in the pocket and then, like, put it under my shirt. Okay. And as soon as I got in the cafeteria, I just pulled it out and turned to the side and pulled one trigger. Okay. And then the teacher came over and grabbed me and the gun was like that. So then it was stuck there and I just let go. Okay. Did the gun go off a second time? Yeah, but it didn't hit anyone. It didn't that, hit anyone. That I'm aware of. Okay. So the first time you shit, uh, you shot, you were trying to shoot somebody? Yeah. You just didn't, didn't care who at that point? Do you know what kind of bullets goes in that gun? 16 gauge. 16 gauge. Okay. Any, um... Have you ever seen that gun before? Yeah. Before you, you, you had? Did you ever take pictures of it or show it to anybody or anything like that? No. No? Facebook, anything good like that? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Did you fire any, any rounds off anywhere else just to practice, just to make sure it worked? No. No. How many bullets did you take with you today? 21. Why so many? Figured if I'm going to do it, might as well go a lot. So I, I believe you said in the beginning you were going to save the last bullet for you? Yeah. So if you were, how many bullets did you have? 21. So how would this have worked out ideally for you? Gotten as many as I could and then gotten to kill myself. So you wanted to kill as many people as you could in the school. Why'd you pick the cafeteria? Those kids there at once. Yeah, that's where the largest group would be? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were just going to kill yourself at the end of it? Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Columbine or something, isn't it? you familiar with that? Yeah. Is that before your time? No, what it is. Have you read about it or anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot? Not a lot, but I know about it. Yeah. No one else involved in this? Mm-hmm. Nobody... Helped you, opened up the door or anything like that? No. Nope. Did you gain inspiration from any other, any, anything else? Not really. No? Are you familiar with guns? Mm hmm. I've been shooting them since I was about six. You familiar with that specific gun you took today? No. I'm, I didn't know they even made 16 gauges. Okay. How were you able to, you said you got it into a bag, right? Mm -hmm. That's a big gun. It's a, like you just, like on double barrels and take the foregrip and almost everyone got the indent at the top and you can pull that down and then you just pull that hammer over and then they slide and it comes into three pieces. Okay. So that's, how you, that's how you brought it to school? Yeah. Okay. How'd you figure out how to, how to do that? I looked it up. Like on the internet or go to the library or what? Internet. 
Okay. When did you do that? Uh, about Thursday night of last week. Oh, okay. It's so recent. Is that when you found the gun? Is that when you looked it up? Yeah. Is there any other guns in the house? Not that I know of. Oh, okay. Whose gun is it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of my dad's friends guns because he would let my dad borrow it but I don't know for certain. Okay. And now who do you live with? Your, your mom or your dad? Both. Like I go back. Every back week. and forth? Okay. So where does your dad live? Which house? Uh, 358 Groveland Road in Hawthorne. So your dad lives at Groveland. Okay. And you don't know of any other guns in that house? Mm -hmm. Did you take all the ammunition with you? Did you leave any bullets behind? I know if I took all. Okay. Now a lot of times things like this happen, people leave messages behind just so everybody's clear on their intentions. Did you leave any notes? Or I, uh, I, they searched me and I had a note in my pocket. I don't know what they did with it. Okay. What was that note about? It was just, uh, I was really making it like a joke of a note. Like, I'm in a band and it's really just a joke. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, the Basically, two paragraphs of the note was just telling people to listen to my band. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I uh, was just like writing really random stuff. Like, like I would write something, and then that made sense. And then out of nowhere, I was just like, "Oh, dang! Forgot to feed my fish." Just so people would get confused. And, mm -hmm. like, but I don't know what they did with that. Okay. No other video postings, or I mean. On Facebook, uh, a class before lunch, or uh, yeah, a class before lunch. I said uh, today is the first day of school and the last day of my life. But it's it. It's not a video. It's just words. No. What time was that? You think? Probably ten twenty. So you made up your mind. No, no, not ten twenty. Cause that's lunch. Uh, I like. Probably 10. Okay. So your mind was made up at that point? Mm -hmm. It was getting done? Yeah. Did you think about doing any other instead of the cafeteria, maybe homeroom? Any specific teachers no, in mind or anything? When I very first thought about doing it, yeah. I think mainly back last year, I had a teacher that was really just a big bitch. Okay. And I thought about taking her out, but I figured it'd be too much work. So. You don't have a class with her this year? No. Okay. So you decide on the cafeteria, because that's where you get the most impact? Mm -hmm. Did you aim for any of the teachers that were in there? No. Or? Did you talk to anybody right before you did it? Single anybody out by name? Uh, See anybody in the bathroom? My two friends, I told them to leave. Oh, wait, I think I told you that. Is that Tyler and Evan? Yeah. And, uh, in the bathroom, there were kids in there, but I went into a stall and uh -huh. closed the door so they didn't see me in the assembly or anything. Oh, I got you. Does it say nobody stopped you? Or is nobody yeah. freaked no out? No one saw me. But I mean, is that why you went into a stall? Oh, yeah, so no one stopped me. I got you. Okay. okay. How do you feel now? Same. Same? Same as what? Same as always. Okay. Don't feel good. Don't feel remorseful. Not really. You would go back and change it if you could? I would have fired the first shot and then immediately killed myself this time. Okay. So you just killed yourself quicker? Any one thing that drew you to this? I mean, you said you've been thinking about it for a while. I mean, did you plan it? Did you take notes? Did you do, you know, a lot of people do a lot of different things to prep and plan, you know? I didn't really plan it out. Like, I did it. I got it all prepared pretty mm -hmm. much the night before school. Okay. Uh, I didn't know when I was going back to my mom's house. I didn't know when I was going anywhere, so I just waited. And then it was literally Sunday in the daytime is when I actually broke the gun down and put it in the bag and then 
Right. So you broke the gun down at your at your dad's? Yeah. And you put it in the bag and then you left? Yeah, we so I went to my mom's house. Okay. So you actually took the bus from your mom's house? Yeah. To school. What what house is that? Where's that? Uh Kingsville. Okay. Is that on Bradshaw or something? Yeah. Okay, so you took the bus from Bradshaw Road. Did you talk to anybody on the bus? No. When did you drink your vodka? When I went to the bathroom. Or actually, as I was walking up to the bus stop, I drank a little, and I took one sip on the bus before anyone else got on from the first one on. Okay. And then I had a little bit more in the bathroom, but then it was pretty much all gone. Okay. But not enough to do a lot of damage, right? No. Now, did you go into the cafeteria and sit there for a little bit? Yeah. Okay, before, did you talk to Tyler and, and Evan or something like that? Yeah. At some point, you just got up and walked out? Yeah. Is that when you told them you guys should probably leave? Yeah. Okay. Who else was sitting there with you when that happened? Uh, me, Tyler, Evan, and a bunch of other kids. Did a bunch of other kids, did they know what was about, about to go on? No. Did you tell them to leave? They heard me tell Tyler and Evan to leave, and they left with them. Do you, know, you remember who they were? No. You don't know that you just don't know? You just I don't know. know. Kids. Okay. So if you went in there wildly shooting, you just wanted to make sure that you didn't get Tyler or Ed. Mm -hmm. Was that friends of yours? Yeah. Have you ever told them things in the past? That maybe you had these thoughts or feelings or anything? No. No. Just kind of kept it in? Yeah. What else is going on? Just to be certain, there's nothing out there that's going to hurt anybody. We didn't do anything to no, no cars, no. not your mom's house or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do, you, why do you think this was necessary? Explain to me. Make a point. What's your point? The people that took off the fucked up place. Mm-hmm. You have any other point of views behind this? Not really. No. Did you explain anything further in your note? Uh, I said, um, really don't enjoy life. It's mm -hmm. Really no point. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. I think you mentioned some music. Maybe some religious stuff? Is there anything religious no, yeah. behind this? No, religion will not call it. It's like fucking with Christians. Just fucking with Christians? Is that what you said? Yeah, I think it's funny. I think it's funny. Okay. Take me through your day one more time. Time to get up. Could you sleep last night? No, I didn't go to sleep. Stayed up all night? Yeah. Just yeah. mind, mind right. racing? Yeah, around 5.50, I went down, took a shower, came back up around 6.20, left for the bus. Got to school around 7, and I got to my class around 7.20. Mm -hmm. And through that, went to... Uh, with weight training, it's my second class. And I went to Vodafone Streets and then went to lunch. You the whole time this is going to happen? Do you have any other problems with anybody in the, in the cafeteria? Guys throwing stuff at you or something like that, apparently? They wasn't directly at me, it just passed by me. Yeah. You know, like, you're going to fucking die. And then. They were like, what? And then they said they want to fight. And I was like, give me 10 more minutes. Because at that point, it was only like 10, 15. I wanted to wait till lunch was on the floor. Why did you want to wait till lunch was on the floor? I don't know. Just something you, you picked? Yeah. Okay. Did you have a specific time in mind? No. Okay. 
It was at that point you got him walked down if you told him that you're gonna die? Yeah, because like they were acting like they were gonna come over and the kid was a pretty big kid. Mm -hmm. And uh he was coming over acting like he wanted to fight. So I was like, Alright, hold on. And then I went over. And as I was walking out of the bathroom, he was actually walking into the bathroom. So yep. I don't know what he was doing. But then I just walked in, turned to the side and shot. Okay. Bathroom's right outside the cafeteria, I guess? Yeah. Is that why you picked to go in there to break the build it back up and hide it under your shirt? What did he do after he saw you coming out? He didn't see the gun though, right? I don't think so. No. He didn't do anything. No. Did you try to pull it out and shoot him or anything? No. Did he follow you into the cafeteria? I don't know, I didn't look fine. Okay. Did you just went in, did you pull it out immediately? Did you walk over to the middle? Yeah, as soon as I walked through the door. So the way I set up the doors right here and then there's tables over here and then the, like the middle aisle mm -hmm. tables. As soon as I walked through the door, I just turned to the side and shot. Okay. Did you aim it? No, I just kind of went like that. Okay, you Stand up. Show me how you did it. I walked in. Which whip? Under which sleeve was it? I uh, walked in, I went like that, and pulled it up and out, and I just turned and went like that. Just, just pulled it out and leveled it? Yeah. Did you just aim for a mass of people? Yeah, it was, it was a pretty big group. Okay. And I just went like that. Just went for the biggest group? Yeah. Get to both stuff. Uh, okay. And was it a teacher that grabbed you, or a student, or something? Yeah, a teacher from over on this side came over. Mm -hmm. I didn't see him, so he grabbed me and put the gun was like that and up against my chest. Mm -hmm. So then at that point, I just let go and him and another teacher and a police officer there came over and got me down. Now at some point, that gun went off a second time. Yeah, as they were up against me, I pulled the trigger again. So you pulled it again? Just just to see if they would let go. Oh, okay. But they didn't. Mm -hmm. Now if that, if that second shot would have hit anybody, that wouldn't matter, would it? No. Were you trying to get it to yourself or towards one of them, or they just had you pinned up so you pulled the trigger? Yeah, they didn't just have you pinned up so I pulled it. Okay. So if they wouldn't have interjected like that, the teachers would have just ran. What would you have done? Did you think? Did you think that far? I fired the gun, reloaded, fired as much as I could. And how do you? How does that gun reload? You said it's a double barrel. Yeah, it's side by side, and you go like that. Sound. It's got a little like switch type thing. Yeah. Oh, does it just like break open, like pops open? Yeah. And the rounds come out? Had you practiced that before? Yeah. That's kind of hard, man. Uh, uh, every time you reload it, mm -hmm. safety, you switch to one. Okay. So I uh, just kind of stop and I'll sit there. And yeah. Get it open, take all that time, and then I just start pulling the trigger, then it's on safety, and then someone comes over and stops me. So did you, did you practice that? Yeah. Break it open, put it in, get the safety off so you could Not get much, but get back to it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But just enough to familiarize, familiarize yeah. yourself with it, right? And how many rounds did you take, you think? It was twenty one. Did you did you pick that for a specific reason? I figured twenty and one for yourself. Twenty one for yourself. How many did kill in Columbine? I think it was fifteen including themselves. Okay. So you weren't trying to like outdo them by one or anything like that, were you? No. no. Do you think you have anything in common with them? Not really, because I'm like, pretty sure they were bullied. I've never yeah. been bullied. So you're not bullied? So you didn't go on with a certain agenda or a certain hit list? So nobody's really bullying you. This is just a statement that Bob was trying to make in the cafeteria on the first day of school. That's it. And that the world is a, I believe that was your quote, just because the world's a fucked up place. And you just want to show people that. Anything else? Obviously, your plan didn't go as you wanted. Anything else you want to get out there, relate to anybody? No. Really. No. Where do you see yourself from here?
That's what happened to you next. What do you want to happen to you? Do they send 15 year olds to jail? I've seen it done, yes. And maybe that's it. That's what I have. And Jesus, I don't know. What would you want to happen? That's not a thing. Second is five. The way I look at it, there's like 2,500 kids in that school, and as soon as I took the gun in, all their lives are at stake. So I just put guilty of first degree attempted murder or whatever. 2,500 counts. And maybe they'll give it a different one. You got no other options? I have other options, I just don't want them. Okay. Had you planned any other or thought about any other ways to get your point across? Anything smaller, bigger? Anything like that? No. Yeah. Yeah. School bus full of kids, something like that, and nothing? I never thought about that. No. And you didn't tell anybody? No. Do you think they would have believed you if you told them? Probably not. No. Now, did you not tell them because you don't want to get them in trouble or because you didn't want them to get in the way and stop you? I would have been a both. You would have been both? Okay. Fair enough. So you took the gun, your dad didn't know about it? No. Did, where did he keep it in the house? Oh. We. My stepmom was pregnant, so we were moving all the rooms around. My room got moved to the basement, and I guess he forgot it was down there because it was on top of the dresser. Okay. And it's a pretty big dresser. And I saw a red case up there, and took it down, looked mm -hmm. at it, and that was there. But, uh, pretty now, is that where your, your plane kind of grew legs as we speak? What if you'd never found that gun? How would you have got your point across? I mean, my uh, my stepdad has guns, but he keeps them locked in a safe, so okay. it would have been much harder to get. Was it on Bradshaw? Yeah. He lives with your mom? Yeah. Okay. But I would have tried, and uh, probably wouldn't have been able to get that, okay. so I probably wouldn't have fought. I got you. What else on your mind? Nothing really. No. No, I think so. Okay. You go with the water? Yeah. Need to use your restroom or anything? I told you to spank on that wall if you need anything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's room hungry, water. Cool? Yeah. Well, anything else you want to add? We'll be in and I'll talk to you some more. But anything you need to get off your chest? No. No? Mm -hmm. All right, Courtney, she's a mental health clinician. Okay. Is it okay if we just talk down? Yeah. Sit down and talk to you for a little bit. Have you eaten and everything? Or? Yeah. Okay. What they get you to eat? Pizza. All right. Well, obviously, I mean, it's kind of what happened today. I mean, do you want to just tell us what happened kind of in your own words? We'll probably ask you a lot of questions that you've already answered probably a hundred times already. Mm -hmm. well, about two months ago, I was going to kill myself, but I realized that that wouldn't really make a point or anything. So I figured if I'm going to die, I might as well do something crazy. And then I decided first day of school, I'll just shoot some kids and didn't know myself, but I fired the first shot and one of the teachers came over to me before I could get a second shot off. Mm -hmm. So I didn't 
I only got, I only shot one person out of the I didn't have any real specific targets. Okay. So you said two months ago you you've been feeling suicidal. It started back in fourth grade, but fourth grade. Okay. Well, I mean, what what do you think is the touch of the most? Um, I just don't like people. Okay. And have you like talked to any doctors about that? Any psychologists? Or? No. No. Okay, so you've never been diagnosed with anything? Mm -hmm. Did you have a plan on how you wanted to kill yourself, or have you had a few plans, I guess, with the fourth grade? Just shoot myself as old as the one. Okay, what's the closest you've ever come to that? Today. Today? So you planned, I mean, how many how many uh, rounds did you have? 21. 21. Okay. And you're not sure who the person that you shot was? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. okay. And what, what made you decide on today to, to do this? Sir? First day of school. But I don't know. Just. Why not? And did you tell your parents that you felt bad, or have you told anybody that you you know you hate hate the world? Or mm. No, not your friends or anything. I, I tell my friends that like I hate people, but I've never told anyone that I'm suicidal. Okay. Do you get along with your parents, or mm -hmm. is, I mean, anything going on in your family life that no. upsets you at all? Are your parents together, or are they? They're divorced. Okay. They got divorced when I was in fifth grade. Okay. Is there any sort of reason for that, or they just decided? You just grew apart. Okay. Do you consider yourself like a pretty violent person at all? Or? I don't, I don't like super violent. Like I don't get in a lot of fights. I kind of stick to myself. Like, yeah, I mean, do you ever like go in the woods and break stuff or anything like that? Or mm -hmm. you're not like a malicious person or anything like that? No. Jumping, maybe there. Scratches on your arm. Is mm -hmm. that something that you do regularly? Is that to relieve stress? Is it because you want to hurt yourself? I just like the way it feels. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling now after everything that's happened today? Same. Same. So if you had a gun here, you try to do the same thing as this morning? I would probably just kill myself first because it didn't work last time. Last time you mean today? Yeah. The teacher can stop me, I'm sure a cop can stop me. Yeah. Have they told you what's going to happen in the future with all this? No. No. Do you have an idea? To have a TV. I don't know. Okay. Does that make you feel the same? Like you don't care? Yeah. Okay. How many friends do you have up at school? There's really only two kids that I talk to. That's Tyler and Evan. Tyler and Evan? Yeah. Okay, and are you doing Facebook and all that stuff? Or? I don't know if you did it all, but it just happened. Okay, did, did you write anything about Kind of what was going to happen today on Facebook? Or? I guess it was the first day of school and the last day of my life. That's, that's it.
And nobody was concerned by that? I did it right before you uh, did this. Did you, I mean, what, did you use your phone and text it? Or yeah. You, okay. Now, and then how long we had you been thinking about doing this? Sir? Uh, it started last year, but I never really thought about it a lot until two months ago. You're saying two or ten? Two. Two. So, so last year you started thinking about doing this? Yeah. Okay. Did Was there anything that kind of set that off? Or? I had a teacher I really didn't like, and it's really annoying. So, which teacher was that? Uh, Miss Blake. What was so annoying about her? She was really like mean. Everyone hated her. She hated all of us. Wow. Like, I mean, give me something specific. Or she was doing really strict. Like, you couldn't do anything. Like, if you got done your work early and you tried to read a book, she would yell at you. You just couldn't. Okay, I mean, was there a specific plan to try to hurt her no. today? Or? No. No, not today. Have you had plans before to try to hurt her? I've never really followed through with any of them, but I think that I've thought about it before. No, I mean, specifically, what, what plans did you have? Just the same as today. Bring a gun, try to shoot her, shoot more people when it comes. As a kid, did you ever set fires or hurt animals, something no. like that? Do you ever hear things that you think other people can't hear or see things you think other people can't see? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. okay. I mean, had you ever gotten close to doing this last year? No. Or when is it you just started having access to the, a gun? Or have you always had access? Uh, um, my stepdad has a bunch of guns, but he keeps them locked up safe. Right. And I've known my dad has a gun, but I had no idea where it was. But I just felt it uh, recently, so I took it. Okay. Where, where did you find it at your dad's house? On the top of the dresser. Was it loaded on the top of the dresser? No, uh, it was just up there, and there were a bunch of bullets in the case. So the case had the 21 rounds in? Yeah. And when you started thinking about doing all this, was, I mean, the other school shootings, did you think about those at all? Or, I mean, how did you get the idea to? I thought about Columbine a little bit, but not much. Didn't really have any effect on it. Okay, and I mean, any of the recent shootings have any effect on it, like the, the Colorado theater shooting or no. No. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, like the saddest you've ever felt, what would you say you feel now? I'm not really sad. Well, how would you describe it? I don't want to kill myself because I'm sad or depressed. It's because I don't like people. I don't like, like I don't see a point in life of that you're just gonna die and there's nothing after that. I think so. Mm -hmm. What's the point? And I'd rather just like I don't enjoy it. Cause, like it's, a, it's like a script because you get up early every day and go to school, and then you get out of school. You get up early every day and go to work. So. Don't do that. Was there ever time you didn't feel like that, like that life was fun or had any meaning or? I mean, when I'm with my friends, so I had fun, but I never really think of any meaning. Okay. And what do you, I mean, what do you like to do with your friends? Maybe yeah, we just walk around and mess with people, like, like, uh, I really don't know how to describe who we are. We'll walk around shopping centers and we'll just yell random things and like play football.
Have you ever been arrested before? No. Really? Okay. Any sort of illegal drugs or no. nothing? Any prescription drugs? Or? No. No. But alcohol, like any drinking? I had a little bit of vodka this morning, but not a lot. About how much is a little bit? Not that much. I wasn't much in the bottle. Okay. Do you always drink? Not always. Do you still have to drink before school? Mm -hmm. Or today you did it just because... Did you know going... Obviously you knew going to school today that you were going to do this? Is that why you took the drink? Or? Yeah. And let's say you had used the 21 round, or so the last round you were saving for yourself. Or? Yeah. Okay. Did you think about getting any other weapons, or that was just kind of it? I would have preferred a handgun, but my dad and my stepdad both, they don't have any of those. Okay. Right, were you curious, were you concerned at all, like how your parents were going to feel about this? Or? Yeah, I, I really wasn't until now because I was going to kill myself afterwards, so it wouldn't matter to me, but now I have to deal with it. I mean, do you, do you feel bad that they're concerned, or I mean, how do you feel right now? Guilty at all? Right. Yeah, I feel bad for them because, like, yeah, they love me, but still, I just don't want really to talk to anyone. Do you feel bad at all about the kid that you showed? Not really. I mean, is there anything else you, you kind of want to tell us at all about anything? Or? No. Okay, but you still feel like you want to hurt yourself? Mm -hmm. You still feel like you want to hurt other people? Now, let's say they sent you home like today. Or what you're saying you would hurt yourself? I would probably just kill myself. Okay, let's say you didn't have access to a firearm. How would you try to kill yourself? Okay, you have any brothers or sisters or anything? And an older sister is 20. A little brother from my mom and stepdad who's turning three. And on my dad's side, I have a little sister who's turned four. And my stepmom's pregnant with a boy. Okay, are you close with any of these kids? Me and my sister. I'm closest with my older sister, but I'm not real close with any of them. I'm not a big fan of kids. Do they like you, the kids? Have you ever been violent towards the children at all? No. No? What, what do you do when they get on your nerves? I usually just go up to my room and put it like, when if I'm sitting down watching TV and they come over to me, like, and then I'll, I'll play with them a little bit, but I'm not too enthusiastic about it, so. Right. They usually end up getting bored anyway. Is this how you are, like, all the time? Would you say just kind of low key? Like it's yeah. just you normally? Yeah. Okay. I mean, did, was there any, when you started shooting, I mean, did you feel anything then, or, I mean, any sort of adrenaline, or? Not really. Just turned to the side and shot, and then went to shoot the second one, but then the, one of the teachers, I don't know where it came from, came up and, like, pushed me up against the vending machine, so then I just had to, Find the second shot to see if he would let go of me, but he didn't. So then I just gave up. Did you know which teacher it was? No. Is 
So why did you just give up? I mean, if you had this plan to go in there and hurt as many people as you can. Because I spent the end of the wedding and shit. I had fired both the shots and had no way to reload. There was no point in fighting them. But I thought it, that I couldn't even have thought about like trying to push them off. There was a second teacher there. So I lost it. So you did, I mean, when you gave up, did you say I give up or you just kind of. No, they were telling me to let go of the gun. I just let go. And they, they took the gun and pushed me against the wall. And I just stood around. Alright. And the other the rounds you were carrying, were they in your pockets or yeah. were they say one in your backpack or anything? They were in my backpack throughout the day, but uh when I went into the bathroom to reassemble the gun, I put them all in my pocket. Okay, has your mom been up here to see you at all or? No, I told him I don't want to see or talk to any of my family members. All right, how long have you been cutting yourself? Sixth grade. Since sixth grade? Ever require any stitches or anything? No. I've never had stitches because of like, Accidents, but not from that. And then just your arm, just your left arm. Yeah. Do you have any other spots that you cut? No. Yeah. And your parents never saw those cuts. So. My mom has, but she, when she asked about them. I just said they were nothing. She was mad at me. On the outside, and the inside, or just the outside? Just the outside. Okay. All right. So do the closest you've ever come to actually trying to kill yourself was today, is that? Yeah. All right, so did you think about this plan like throughout the summer? Or when did you finally? I thought about it mainly since uh, in, like towards like June, like towards the end of June is when I was thinking I was going to kill myself. I had a concept that I was going to until and it was with my best friend, so I said I was going to go to that and then kill myself and I uh, was like, it's good, it's not going to make a point. So, I just waited until then, today, and tried. And you went with concert with? Mayhem Dust, you know, it was in Virginia, it was Slipknot, Motorhead, Slayer, Asking Alexandria, Anthrax, a bunch of bands. And what's the big point, if you could send a message to everyone, what would be your message or your point? Yeah, I'm sure that the world's a place. And then once people get that, what do you expect them to do? I don't know. Good. I don't care. I'll be there as long as I can. Okay. Alright, so you never thought to yourself, like, you try to make this world a better place, or? Uh -huh. If you had a magic wand and make one thing better, what would it be? To make life. Oh. Oh. Do, you, do you feel like you accomplished anything today at all? No. So how, does, how do you get to school? On the bus? Do your parents take care of I take a bus when I'm at my mom's or when I'm at my dad's. He drives me. So your dad drove you to school with the gun? No. I, I took the gun over my mom's on Sunday. And then I uh, unassembled and put it in my bag and then I was on the bus. Okay. So you got on the bus with the gun? Once again, you, you still feel like you want to hurt yourself and mm -hmm. hurt other people. Mm 
So if you had a chance to do this again, you would have had what, more more weapons? I wouldn't have tried to do the same thing because it didn't work, so I would just kill myself instead. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk. Is there anything else you need, or you're all right? I'm fine. All right. All right. Thanks for talking to us. Appreciate it. Good luck. After spending nearly two weeks in the hospital, Daniel Burrowy fully recovered from his injuries. Gladden pled guilty to attempted murder and to using a firearm in a violent crime. During Gladden's trial... His defense portrayed him as a troubled youth, dealing with such things as his parents' divorce, an aunt's death, an uncle who committed suicide in front of other family members, self-mutilation, and having suicidal thoughts himself, and asked for a lenient sentence for Gladden. However, the judge went beyond state sentencing guidelines and sentenced Robert Gladden Jr., 15 years old at the time of the shooting to 35 years in prison.